Good evening, my name is Hiro Pascasio and I'm going to be talking to you about an intellectual property and argued granted right and its ethical analysis. Um, intellectual property has been first seen in the Statute of Anne in England in 1979 and is well recognized as the first copyright law. And its ethically, ethicality has been subject to controversy up until today. Most of it summarizes to that your right ends up right where all these people's right begin. And this paper is to ethically analyze the exclusive rights granted to the authors. Um, let's first see uh, the concept of non rivalrousness non rival, what is to be non rival? In economics of goods and resources, is the capacity of being enjoyed or consumed by many consumers simultaneously and therefore without rivalry. That the Lockean theory states that since the author is the uh, owner of himself, therefore he is the owner of the work he does as long as he does not waste it and there is enough for other. Another concept that we are going to be seeing is the personality theory that says that intellectual property is a realization of their authors and have as goal to enhance their self. And consequentialism that states that due to intellectual property in non rivalrous nature, everyone's needs can be satisfied simultaneously. Therefore, the free access to that information is morally justifiable. And what we can start saying about Kant theory is that he's the owner of his own work as long as he does not waste it. There is, a, as long as he does not waste it, um, what is that gray area of wasting? It's uh, depending on the subject, which could go forward. You're, they're into taking consideration the uh, personality theory. He is able to live uh, comfortably or have a well being. Uh, how much is he able to profit from his own intellectual property uh, or to protect it for how long in term? Another thing is the personality theory seems to be in accordance to uh, not sharing the property because it puts into emphasis to enhance their self. So some people need uh, their to say sustenance. So in order to be able to live and to maintain all the tools uh, for your art, you're gonna need to be able to make a living out of that and to um, actually make a specialized or in-depth um, work you need to spend more time so this allow especially kind of like in the specialization concept this allows for the user to employ more time and therefore make quality intellectual property there's even examples of non rival rules uh things that should be um, uh, shared like national security data um, yes, national importance and personal data like your ID there will be frauds everywhere. It can cool work in theory but not in practice. There's also examples of rivalrous property like heroin and um, medicine to uh, previously untreatable disease that will uh, create um, certain another approach to it like heroin you cannot sell heroin to other people and not live with other consequences. It's gonna bring a negative influence to seeing utilitarianism. You, you're gonna make everybody happy in the moment, but in the long term, um, to consequentialism, it's gonna make a harsh environment for you, uh, if, for you to meet the demand. And if the demand is not met, uh, ooh, uh, problem is gonna arise. Also, the reason for uh, for the restriction of freedom of information, which may include the right to oppose copyright and patents and trademark, comes by law that grants exclusive right to an author or investors of an intellectual property in the United States. In uh, case of Congress uh, has the power to grant this for the promotion and the development of sciences and arts, and this was passed because we know that this gives incentive for all of us as authors better development in our economies and countries. Uh, at the end.